Check out this beautiful block of beeswax. Look at that thing. So easy. Let me show you how I did it. So here's what we have. We have beautiful a burr comb right here that I've scraped out of the hives as I've gone through them. Then we have this Lysen Solar Wax Melter here. It's the cheaper one. It's, it's not very big, but it works for my purposes. I think they're about $170 now. Get them from Better Bee. And uh, they've gone up in price a little bit, but hey, it's, it's so easy. Of course, we gotta have the sign for using a solar wax melter. And then here's the wax. This is the result right here. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Uh, this tray right here is tilted down a little bit so the wax will drip into the pan over there. And this kind of rotates up like that. So you can remove the tray if you want. It also has a pan right here you can pull the tray out if you want to. It's got this flap right here that serves as a filter for the wax. But what we've discovered works even better is to use these paper towels like this. We just lay them on the flap like this. These are not the cheap paper towels, they're thicker ones. Like this right here. And that serves as an even better filter. Now you'll see this block of wax is pretty clean. Now there's a little bit of dirt in the bottom of them usually. I'm not sure why, but it's very minimal. You may run it through it one more time and melt it down if you want to get every little particle of dirt out of there, but that's a pretty dang clean block of wax right there. So then it's really simple. Let's take the wax. Put it in there. Just kind of fill it up. As full as I can. We got it loaded up and ready to go. All we gotta do now is just put the cover on it and let the sun work its magic. All right, it's 1.25 in the afternoon. You can see the wax melter is doing its job. Let me pull this up and see what we got. So, beautiful beeswax. dripping right down there so it's not quite finished yet isn't that cool well it's about 4 30 and you can see the looks like the wax is pretty much melted and in the tray and beginning to harden what i found is it's best if you can go ahead and scrape this before it gets hard it makes it a lot easier while it's still kind of hot. So I'll just scrape it up right now while it's still kind of soft. And it'll be easy to get out of there later. This is what they call slum gum. I'm really not sure what to do with it. I know some people do some stuff with it. I'm just not sure what. So I usually just throw it away. If you have any suggestions of what to do with the slum gum, let me know. Okay, so this is all loose now. What I'll do is I'll just uh, let it go ahead and finish cooling off and then dispose of it later. Well, so the next morning, and I'll clean this slum gum out right here later. But let's take a look at this block of wax. Now that it's cool, it should just pop right out. Look at that. That's probably about two or three pounds of wax right there, I would guess. Isn't that pretty? Just that easy. It's pretty clean. Awesome block of wax. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.